Common sayings of lost people, number 16. Uh, that's just your interpretation. My helper here. Uh, look at the scriptures here. What, do, what does the Bible say? How do you answer somebody that comes out with this thing? If that's just your interpretation. Galatians chapter 1, verses 10 through 12. For do, do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. You can't be politically correct and a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can't happen. Verse 11, But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after men. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Special revelation given to the Apostle Paul. But guess what? Christians today still have that revelation. Not new revelation. We have the Word of God, and the Holy Spirit will show us how to interpret this book. And that's what the lost world hates. But we're going to play a little game here. Okay? Let's play a game of you, lost person, and this is what you show a lost person as a Bible-believing Christian. You say, oh, it's just my interpretation. You're saying it, this is just my interpretation. All right, let's play a special little game called You Tell Me What the Verse Means. Okay? See, there are certain verses of Scripture that God specifically wrote for you to show lost people. And just, it's plain as day. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Hey, lost person, how do you interpret that? Say, so, well, that's just your interpretation. Okay, then what's your interpretation? Uh, there's none righteous, no, not one. Are you righteous? Are you a good person? Going to go to heaven when you die based on your own good merits? Hmm? Well, it, well what? How do you interpret that? Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Lost person, how do you interpret that? Show your relatives. I realize most of them are so narrow-minded, they probably won't let you sit down and open a Bible. You know, as soon as you open the Bible, they'll scream and run out of the room. You know, it's, it's terrible. I mean, you could, you could literally be sitting there holding a rattlesnake in your lap, and they would probably sit down beside you and look at the rattlesnake. But you hold the King James Bible, and it's, oh, oh, okay, hi, uh, what's the problem? What's the problem? It's a holy book. Romans chapter 5, verse 6. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. What other interpretation is there of that verse? Even the most lost person, you show them that verse of Scripture right there, and if they're open-minded enough to actually read it aloud, they're going to say, when we were yet without strength. Huh. I'm without strength. In due time Christ died for the ungodly. Hmm. There's none righteous. The wages of sin is death. You say, uh, are you ungodly? Um, yeah, I guess I am. Let the scriptures do your attacking. Don't worry about intellectual arguments and all kinds of ways to trap them. Or Just open up the scriptures. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, you're ungodly. You've sinned in your life. You've earned wages. And those wages are going to be death. But uh, would you, wouldn't you be interested in the gift of God? The gift of eternal life there through the Lord Jesus Christ? How about that? Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 13. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hey, lost person, let's read these verses together. Now you tell me how you interpret it. Put them on the spot. Okay? It's just that simple.